So ladies and gentlemen, let's have a look at the swing plane here. We'll talk about a few things and uh, so that we understand the swing plane and perhaps what we're you know, trying to achieve in a golf swing just a little bit uh, a little bit better. So we'll pop up a line here and uh, we'll make a, a right angle. So we'll get this in at uh, 90 degrees. There's your zero. And we'll get this club a line up through the shaft. So this is your this is what we do. This is the original shaft plane. We pop a line up, so that's 45 degrees. Now it's been said that the club works so that's easy to understand that the swing works on an arc, a circle, and it, it runs around or moves around parallel or close to a, a 45 degree uh, angle uh, on this on this swing plane. Okay, now this is this is good and well for the longer clubs. Uh, I think it makes people understand what we're sort of trying to achieve when we're trying to come back down. You'll be looking at getting the club here when the club's parallel to the ground. People, you're looking at getting level with the hands here or even slightly behind the hands into here and then you're in this slot position back to where we started uh, swinging back up and around also in a perfect world on this around about a 45 degree swing plate okay so that's that's one way of describing the swing and how uh, yeah how it looks and how it works around on a swing arc at 45 degrees now when we get on uh, with iron shots and shorter clubs, you know, we're, we're bending a little bit more forwards and we're standing a touch closer and, you know, the swing will work up you know, a little bit steeper. You'll be moving into your 50s, uh, into your 60, low 60s or into your high 50 degree area, but it's still, you know, you can still explain it in a way that we, you know, we're looking at doing a similar thing. Now, the reason why when we're swinging on a nice plane, it keeps us in balance. Okay, it all matches up very nicely and it makes it easier for us to come down with the golf club and you know shave this line down and, and bring this club head into this slot position here where the club's level with the hands or slightly behind the hands. And then you know obviously when we swing on a nice plane it keeps us in balance, uh, helps us with direction and it also helps us with the low point landing in the right area. Now we do see many great players in TV, often swinging uh, off plane and back onto plane. Now, skilled athletes you know, with a lot of talent, they've got a great way of getting the club back uh, into a slot position. But for many of us, we, we swung back in, in certain positions. It, it would make it extremely difficult to get the club from here to here on the way down. But for many of these champions, um, very, very balanced athletes, it seems to look very, very easy and back down and through the ball. We've seen it um, a number of times over the years. It perhaps is uh, an exception to the rule, of course, but uh, uh, if we're coming back and it's not in the correct position and when we come down and we, you know, we get it, get these uh, clubs in the, in, in the correct position, uh, then it doesn't matter, does it? You know, we're going to hit some great shots. But believe me, it's much easier when we're swinging in balance. What we'll see a lot of the time for many golfers around the world with swing plane is that when they're coming down, they'll be swinging back nicely at times but when we start coming down people we start to see plane not matching up to the original shaft plane as we're coming down into impact and we're starting to get in trouble now this one would be a bit steep this one's over the plane quite a bit and uh, when we can move into you know other shots here where we see people uh, coming underneath plane a little bit as well that's taken away well underneath the plane and coming down well underneath this line here. So there's just a couple of ideas, a couple of basic ways for, for people to understand what we're trying to achieve, what is swing plane, and uh, I think just explaining it in that way just gives people a little bit of a better understanding about swing plane and the direction of the golf club.